Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're talking furnaces and we're going to show you the purpose of an actual flame sensor inside your furnace. Pretty important part. Let's go take a look. Step one, safety first. Go ahead and turn off your wall mounted thermostat. All right, DIYers downstairs in the furnace room and here is our furnace right here. It is a Bryant brand. On the right hand side, very important, you get an electrical switch. Turn that off. Your cover panel may be different. In our case, we've got this long screw that screws the panel to this portion of the furnace. Go ahead and unscrew that. And carefully shift the panel up and off your furnace. Set that in a safe location. I'm going to turn on my flashlight right here and let's talk about a couple parts. This is a gas line that provides the gas to each tube here where your flames will be coming out. And here is your flame sensor. And on the opposite side, you have your igniter. Right in there, you'll notice a little tab sticking up. And during the ignition, your igniter will heat up and gas will flow through the system. And once that igniter heats up to a certain temperature, it will ignite the gas and all tubes will light. And from there, your actual flame sensor right in there has an important job to do. And its job is to provide an electrical current, which is defined in microamps and send that current electronically through the wiring to your onboard control panel or motherboard behind this panel here. And in the event that it does not provide that proper micro amperage, guess what? Your motherboard or control board will shut the entire system down. So this is a very important feature of the system and acts as a safety feature. So again, part of your ignition system and it is very important. What happens over time you have a porcelain part of the sensor that can crack. You also have the electrical lead in there that provides the electrical current, and that can become very oxidized, corroded, or create a layer of soot on it. And that's very similar to your ash buildup in your fireplace or chimney. So with all that said, in the event that your furnace is turning on, meaning igniting, you see the gas flow, you see the flames in each tube, and it's shooting forward down in the chambers straight ahead. And after about five to 10 seconds after that, the whole system shuts down. Well, guess what? That is a clear indication that you have a faulty or failed flame sensor, and that will need to be either cleaned or replaced altogether. What I wanna do now is turn the system on, and I wanna walk you through how this works and show you where the actual flame sensor is positioned when those flames and heat is being generated. So what I'll do is turn my switch back on and I'll head back upstairs to the wall mounted thermostat. Back upstairs at the thermostat, carefully shift that tab back to heat. Let's go back downstairs to the furnace room. All right, YouTubers back downstairs and we're just patiently waiting for the system to kick on and I wanna show you what it does. And there it is. Blower fan turns on, that runs a test. This can take up to 30 seconds, sometimes more. After that, you'll see your inducer fan start spinning, meaning your inducer motor is up and running. And the inducer motor just kicked on, the fan is spinning. From here, we're waiting for that little tab way back there that is going to heat up. And once it gets to a certain temperature, as the gas flows over and past it, it will ignite the gas and all burner tubes or chambers will light up and shoot the flame straight down inside those internal chambers. As shown here, and the position of that sensor lead is inside the flame right now and it is creating an electrical charge in micro amperage and it is sending that micro amperage readout to the onboard computer and in the event that it, number one is not providing that amperage or it's outside of the micro amperage limits your control board will detect that and it will shut the entire system down so a very important part to your furnace and the ignition system as well as safety purposes from here you just patiently wait and in the event that this entire system shuts down after about 10 to 15 seconds that's an indication of one of two things number one you have a dirty oxidized or corroded flame sensor and it has to be cleaned or you have a completely failed or faulty slash intermittently working sensor and that will also need to be replaced and with that said for your convenience we have step-by-step -step videos on number one how to clean it 
And number two, how to replace the old sensor and install a brand new sensor. And those links are down below in the comment section as well as the description section. Definitely check those out. You may find them very helpful. Hopefully this helps DIYers. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.